Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be making a start, at the very least, on my review of The Pure in Heart by Susan Hill. So this is a crime novel, it is uh, the second in one of her series, I'll actually get to that now, because we're going to read the blurb, then I'm going to go through and check out some of my tabs, and I'll share my overall thoughts and rating at the end. I'm doing this as I've been doing these recently, so I'm filming kind of as I go, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Dane reads... The Pure in Heart is the second of Susan Hill's novels set in the English cathedral town of Lafferton and featuring the enigmatic detective chief inspector Simon Sorella. A little boy is snatched as he stands with his satchel at the gate of his home, waiting for his lift to school. A severely handicapped young woman hovers between life and death. An ex-con finds it impossible to go straight. Haunting and truthful, gripping and convincing, The Pure in Heart is neither a thriller nor a whodunit, but a fascinating crime novel arising out of character and circumstance. Um, and then I didn't have anything for the first 50 odd pages because I didn't see anything interesting and then there's two on the same page. Um, but I think that also says a lot about this book. So we get a reference to a gerbil called Ron Weasley, which I thought was cool. And we get this, uh, a twist of pain, yet he could not always remember what she'd looked like. They had had dinner together. She'd had a drink in his flat. There had been, what precisely? Precisely nothing. Easy to regret nothing. And uh, anyway, then we get a little bit with a kid and the mum says, we'll see. Why did they always say, we'll see first, even when they knew whether it was yes or no? We'll see, we'll see. They couldn't seem to help saying it. And we get this line, Harf Harnfield was not specially attractive, but it had a community and a sense of life. Now, shouldn't that be especially? I don't know. I guess it could be specially. It changes the meaning, though. It just reads weird. Great little line here. If absence made the heart grow fonder, death did the same. Well, yeah. I just thought this was fun. Uh, the power at Shirley Sapcoat's great aunt left her had been called Churchill, but Shirley had changed its name to Elvis the day it arrived. She had tried to teach it to say blue suede shoes instead of never surrender, but only succeeded in confusing it so much that it was now mostly silent, apart from occasionally making the noise of a train going through a tunnel. It sat in its cage on the small table under the window, staring at her balefully, its sulky silence worse than its voice. And then here I want to, um, they're talking about the missing kid here, it said, um, what everyone said about those poor child, those poor parents, and worse, heard the words dead and murdered, and most frequently of all, the word hopeless. But I think people would say dead and murdered more than they would say hopeless, because it's quite a specific word. All right, I've only got one more tab to share with you guys. So we find uh, a young girl has died, and they find the body. Um, and I thought that might mean it was the paedophile who said he was into women. But apparently not. Um, yeah, we actually, we don't, the, the, we don't get an answer to the crime in this, which is weird. So, it's like a crime mystery novel, except at the end of it, nobody's figured it out. I'm guessing she's gonna follow that up with another book, but it was a bit of an anti-climax. Overall, anyway, it was just okay. It was like a 3.5 out of 5. Uh, I don't think I'd recommend this to anybody unless they're a Susan Hill completionist, really, because um, there are better crime novels out there. But it was all right, that's all I got for you. Sorry, guys. So yeah, but that's what I made of The Pure in Heart by Susan Hill. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.